Call it up. Excellent. Excellent. Finish him. All you've got to do is enjoy it. You're going to go out there, you're going to do what you do every week. The, we're still the team chasing. I'd rather be the team chasing than the team at the top worrying. Yeah? Win your battles. Every moment counts. If you lose, if you lose the ball, get back in. Yeah? Read the board. Don't get pulled into things like what they do out there. We've already played them once. Yeah? Charlie got sent off because the guy held him on the ground. Don't get pulled into it. Laugh. Track back. The minute the ball is lost is the minute we need to be compact. Yeah? Win your one on ones. Hunting two and three. But like I said, most of all, it's about enjoying the night, enjoying the occasion. Yeah? Hopefully, you've all got people coming to watch you. Friends, family. Yeah, some of you have already told me you've never played in a stadium like this. First 10 minutes are crucial. Yeah, if they're on top, we sit in. If we're on top, we dominate, we get the early goal. I want the ball moved nice and quick. In that warm up, too many people holding onto it. Get the ball, one touch, two touch. Get it out of your feet or pass it on. <coughs> the only time the lines need to be cleared is if it's desperate, when it's, when it's Tunde or Ben. There's nothing more I can say to you. High standards, good quality at all times. If someone's not doing their job, tell them. We're at the stage in the season where no one should be afraid to tell their teammates what they expect uh, from them. So let's make sure the communication is good out there, everything positive, the mood is good, but let's make sure that goes through the 90 minutes here. Yeah? Even if things aren't going our way, believe that we're going to win this game. Believe in each other, believe in your ability to come back, to hold leads, to grind, to do the ugly stuff, yeah, believe it, because you've done it. You've done it, you've beat them twice already, make it three words, that's it. Nights like this are gonna happen more and more. And a season like this is gonna continue happening. You've got to believe to win. Ball is on three. One, two, three, one. Welcome people. You know what time it is? It's Monday evening, and that means another South Fullers episode. This is the highly anticipated game versus AFC Bexley. This game right here would make it our third encounter with this same team. In the past two encounters, we beat them on both times. So we're trying to make it a hat trick of wins. But which players are we taking to war? Let's get straight into the lineup. In goal, we've got Dunn. For the formation, we've gone for the 4 2 3 1. We haven't really used the three at the back in a while because we feel like the 4 2 3 1 has been working well for us. But if it's not broken, you know what they say? Then we fix it. So in goal, we've got Dunn, like I said. The back four consists of Ben, Tunde, Daniel, and Eunice. Quality back four. I do say to myself. The midfield three consists of Quam, Alex, and Shams. So after weeks of Alex begging the gap, put him in CDM, finally got his chance. Up top, we've got Abu on the wings, we've got Romario and Dara. And on the subs, we've got Mason, Jay, Noah, and Ibs. With the players, just to feel like they were professional footballers walking out of the tunnel like that. Let's have a look at the league table. As you can see, we're second. We've come a long way this season. Nine games unbeaten. If we win this game, we are top of the league. You know what that means? That's history in the making right there. But it's not going to be an easy game. We've beat Bexley twice now. So I know they're going to be ready, ready for war. They made the better team win. Before we start the game, a quick shout out to our sponsors, Prince of Peckham. Trust me, you've got to try their food, especially the jerk chicken. Amazing stuff. South Ballers to the world. So they start a the kickoff. The reason this game was on a Wednesday night was because we've got a lot of backlog of games. Back in November and December last year, a lot of games were being cancelled because of the weather, because of the snow. So we'll have games to catch up on. So we've got to either play games on a weekday or have double headers on a weekend. We don't really want double headers. So we said, you know what? Let's get a game done under the lights in a proper stadium. Nice run there from Mason. Gives the ball to Dara. Oh, Dara tried to back pass it to Romario, and it does. Romario gets through somehow, I'm not really sure. Gets into the box, sure. takes a shot. Oh, but the ball's gone out wide. Good start from the ballers. So Mason had to start instead of Abu, because Abu came late. 
what a lovely switch from the Bexley guys. Now this player has got the ball in the box. I'm not really sure why he didn't shoot. Had to pass it in. Good interception there from the ballers and good pass from Alex Fad Romario on the wing. They get a ball over the top. Now the ballers are been a bit complacent right now. Oh Daniel gets dispossessed and the winger's got the ball. Edge of the box, what's he gonna do with it? Oh, he goes past Daniel. Oh my days. Has to get across in. Luckily Tinder was there. That's Tinder clears the ball. You know a proper clearance though. And then somehow pick up the ball in front of our box. And screw the ball out wide again. He's that same player number seven. I think his name is Shaq. He goes past Daniel again. Hey Daniel, come on bro. Come and let him get past you like that. Oh my days. Good interception there. A good block from Shams. That Shaq guy tried to get across into the box. Luckily we had bodies on the line. But that's the second time he's gone past Daniel. Daniel. Gotta fix up my guy. Mason picks up the ball in front of their box. Oh, I think he gets fouled there. Excellent. Tries to get the ball to Dara, but the ref blew. Oh, a free kick. Romario takes it. What's he gonna do with it? Oh my days. Bro, what is that? Right, we gotta take Romario on free kick dudes, man. Like that was poor. Good tactical foul there from Alex. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. CDM Alex, you know, lovely stuff. Good kick there from Dom. Ooh, lovely stuff. Palm gets the first head up. Romaro got the second head up. Now Mason's one on one with a keeper. Take a shot, my guy. How did he miss? I cannot believe my eyes. That should have been a clear cut chance. Mason should have slotted that into the corner. That's going to come back to bite us in the short. Excellent. Yo, that was a lovely switch from Romario find Mason, but Mason couldn't get to it. But that was lovely from Romario. But you know what? You redeemed yourself from that free kick from earlier. We want more balls like that, yeah? Lovely pass. Alex to find Romario. Romario back to Alex. That's what I'm talking about. Just keep the ball. Slow the game down. Oh, lovely pass from Alex to find Dara. Dara's got the ball. Edge of their box. Tries to get the ball. Back to Shams. Shams couldn't get to it. Player did well to defend that. The free kick specialist, Alex is taking this one. Whips a ball into the box, that's a lovely ball. Oh, the keeper came out to try to save it. Ram takes the shot and it goes over. Come on, ballers. I feel like we need to start doing training sessions just for shooting. We miss way too many shots. Actually costing us games now. Dom takes this one quickly, gives the ball to Shams. Shams gets the ball over the top. Oh, lovely touch there from Dara. Dara gives the ball to Alex. Alex scans and looks for options. Sees that Quam is there, gives the ball to Quam. Quam gives it to Daniel. What's Daniel gonna do with it? He put the pace on, put the burners on. Love that, Daniel. Oh, love that again. Cuts it, gets across into the box. Missing, gets ahead on it. Oh, the keeper got their hands on it. That was so close. That was pretty much the best chance we've had. Another lovely ball whipped into the box. Romara gets his knee on it. Ah, oh, come on, guys. How many chances are we gonna miss before we actually start scoring goals? Now their wingers picked up the ball. Good way to dispossess them from Alex. Now if you want to learn how to beat the press 101, just subscribe to the channel. Look at this from the ballers. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely succulent. Stupendous. Excellent. Oh, lovely ball from Romario to find Dara. What's Dara going to do with it? He tries to get across into the box to Abu, but Abu couldn't get to it. And instead of clearing the ball out, he tried to pass the ball in their box. And that's definitely a foul from Romario. Mario's taking this one. Oh, lovely ball. Abu takes a shot and it goes in. Oh, no. God damn! God damn! We need to have a look at this one again. Okay, it's quite hard to see Abs, but yeah, he was offside to be fair. It's a great goal, though. It was very good pull from the ref. Daniel gets this possessed. Come on, Daniel. This number seven. He's doing bits on that right hand side gonna do with it. He got the ball in the box, tried to get a cross in, but he overcooked it. Now they get a throw in. Oh, long throw. Tinek couldn't really get a clearance out. Now number seven's got the ball again on the wing. I'm not gonna lie, he's their most threatening player when he's got the ball. Panicking! He goes past Tunde. Luckily Dunn was there. Good hands from Dunn. Another throw in. We need to put a better pressure on him. How's he able to receive the ball so easily? Come on ballers. Put some pressure on. Now they've got the ball back into the midfield. 
no, it wasn't bad. But we just possessed him. Champ has the ball in midfield now. He's going to do with it. Good way to hold on to the ball. Slice a pass to Abu. Abu gives the ball to Kwam. Kwam sees that Romario is there. Edge of the box. What's he going to do with it? Oh my goodness. He literally just passed the ball to the keeper. Nah, man. This is getting fishy. Something fishy is going down. I can't lie. Ooh, lovely set up there from Abu for Kwam. Kwam took a shot when the ball went over. We've definitely had the better chances in this game. We've had more chances, better quality chances as well. Good first header. Alex there. A bit of battle between Kwam and their defender. But the ball still lands to us. As Romario gets the ball and gives it back to Shan. Shan's going to do with it. Looking for options. He can't really find any. He gives it back to Romario. Romario slides the ball to Dara, who's through on goal. But couldn't really get a proper touch. So he tries to get the ball back to Abu. But the ball landed to Abu's wrong foot. And the Bexley guys managed to clear the ball out. He evaded that danger. But like I was saying, I think we've had the much better chances. And overall, the game has been kind of balanced. You know, they've had chances, we've, we've had chances as well. Daniel's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Oh, lovely stuff. Give the ball to Shams. Shams got the ball edge of their box. Ball one two between Shams and Abu. Wiggling past their players and he takes a shot. And it goes in. 1-0 to South Ballers. Lovely stuff. That's my guy. The goal was coming. We had way too many chances, way too many wasted chances. We had to at least convert one of them. <laughs> now that we're 1-0 up, we can relax a bit more and just play our football. In case you haven't noticed, we haven't got Charlie in this game because he got a red card from the last time we faced the same team actually. Oh, look at the strength. Look at the strength. The ref tried to say that was a foul on Romario's part. Like, come on. Come on, ref. 1 0 to South Ballers. Game is back on. Lovely turn there from Alex. And what a lovely ball to find Abu. And Abu's chasing the ball. He's got Romario behind him. He's going to do with it. Lovely pass to Romario. Romario going to do. He's got time and space to drive in. And he does that. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? I couldn't say any better to be fair. Now they spread the ball out wide. That number seven, again, he's their most threatening player. Daniel just needs to stay on him now. Oh, goes past Daniel. Manages to get past all the players. And they still managed to keep on to the ball. Now they got the ball in front of our box. Oh, lovely turn, I'm not gonna lie. Ben, look, he got spun there. And they take a shot. Ooh, that was wild. Pretty much the dime minutes of the first half. Dumb takes the goal kick. And that was it. One of the South Warriors. What do you guys think? I think the game was fairly even. Even though we had slightly better chances and much better targets on goal. But they had quite a few good plays as well. Let's hear from Brownie. Take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Well done, well done. Come on, come on, let's go. Really good half. Yeah? They're just going down that right hand side. So we need to just be very careful with that. Um, Move the ball quicker as well, yeah? Friends, you get out there, touch the ball, drive in and shoot. You just do this thing, you touch it, and then you're looking for something. Drive it in. Honestly, you have that ability. You can do it in training, you get around people, shoot. Yeah? Get it out of your feet, run past someone, shoot. Everyone else, really good work. Yeah, and there are times when we can't stand off them. It's hard, I get it. It's hard, because you want to have a rest. If you stand off them, that's when they're going to pick us up because they're picking up the ball, they want to play one twos. When you get in their face, they don't want that. Nice in their face, pressure, heightened and impacts. And then when we have the ball, release it. Can we switch the play? Dara's, Dara's running these bollocks off. Rems is out there wide. Yeah, play the balls, play the one twos, it's brilliant. But now it's composure. Think what we're doing as well. We're ahead. If it goes out for a throw, take a couple of seconds, get that rest in. Yeah, if it's their throw, track your fucking ass back. But when it's us, slow the game down, relax. Yeah, there will be subs coming on at some point. All right, Byron? Yeah, well, it's only a, a couple of things from me, but I think we're playing football really well. Um, so we need to keep that up. They're going to be chasing the game now. So in their dressing room, they're probably saying they need to press out the pitch. At the moment, they're not pressing us at the back. When you guys at the back have it, when Alex has it, they're not really pressing like that. So you can't afford to keep it. Wait for them to come out, put the spots in behind, yeah? Rems, a couple things for you. As, as um, Brownie was just saying, literally, if you're white, just take on your mind, man. 
like, as you said, you have the ability and you're quicker than him and you're like, you'll be able to brush past him easily, you're more powerful than him. Just get the ball, head up. If he's in front of you, take him on, get yourself in the box. Secondly, there's times where you're, you're a bit too far in here. So then when the ball comes out here, then it's a bit of an effort to get out of there. If you're already there, then when their fullback gets it, you're already there. Because there was a great piece of play where you came out there, tracked it down, tackled him. The ref gave a foul, wasn't a foul. Yeah. Hear them in there that they want it. We Let's want it more. Let's Come go, on, boys. Boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on. Stop you, man. You look crazy. Top of the we are back for the second half. One to South Borders, just to recap, Sham scored our goal. Lovely. Don't know what that was from Tunde, to be fair. <laughs> now again, they spread the ball out wide. I mean, that's pretty much what their main strategy is. Get the ball to that number seven. Make him do some magic. What's he going to do with it? Has to take a shot. Good block there from Tunde. They're going to come out all guns blazing this second half. They've literally got nothing to lose at this point. You know, okay, ball from Alex. Keeper didn't have any trouble saving that. Now again, this same player's got the ball. Daniel needs to do better on his side. They keep on getting past him. It's number seven. What's he gonna do? He goes past so many players. Oh, I don't know. Let's look at that again. Oh, that was an excellent tackle from Daniel. Well-timed tackle. That was not a penalty. Great decision from the ref. Now Abu, he took the ball and give it to Romario. Romario just sprayed the ball to find Eunice. Eunice gives it back to Abu. Abu sees that Dara's making that run. Lovely play from the ballers. I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. Dara back to Abu. Abu to Eunice. I look at that dummy there. Lovely play from the ballers. Didn't really make it work though. Great kick from Dumb. Ball lands into midfield. Well, they get the first header. The ball lands to Shams now. And Shams gives the ball to Eunice. Lovely ball from Eunice. Tried to find Dara, but he couldn't. But it doesn't matter because Sham still has the ball. So the ball is in that possession. Or oh, lovely there from Abu. Abu finds Kwam. Kwam tries to give the ball to Romario. A bit of a misplaced pass, but Romario still gets to it. Oh, lovely stuff. Oh, look at that turn from Daniel. That was juicy. They had to take him down. They had to take him down. They were like, nah, bro. No way you're getting past me after doing that. Lovely throw there from Eunice. But they get a header. Now they're driving at us, we get the ball in front of our box. Oh, the same player every single time. He's so nippy. Oh my days, this is looking dangerous. That was wow. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, that was an excellent goal. That was an excellent goal. Now all the chances that we've missed, coming back to haunt us now. Daniel's coming off and Jay's coming on. We decided to put an actual left foot up on that side of the pitch. Hopefully, it'll give us more attacking threat. Again, they're getting, they're getting through somehow. Good clearance there from Jay. But the ball doesn't go too far. And they still got the ball. Oh, we had to take him down. He just didn't have a choice. No way he's getting past again. They get a free kick that was close. That was a very good free kick. This is looking like the tide has turned a little bit. Now they've got some momentum. Since they scored, they're on it now. A lovely ball from Alex to find Romario. Now he's throw on goal. What's he going to do with it? And he takes it wide. Yeah, breaking news. Romario has been investigated for crimes against South Wallers. His crimes are shooting waywardly, poor free kicks, and passing the ball to the position keeper. Bro, sort it out, mate. Not a bad goal kick from their keeper. Good interception there. Good tackle from Alex. Gives the ball to Shams. Shams gives the ball to Eunice. Oh, look at this from the baller. This is what I call positional play 101. He's passing the ball around. So smooth. That butter. Lovely cross from Shams to find Mason, but Mason couldn't really convert it. So Kwam comes off and Noah comes on, trying to get some more fresh legs in that midfield. This is looking very dangerous here. Good block there from Tunde. But the ball doesn't go too far. Again, we've got the ball edge of our box. I like how the ball has just swarmed them like a pack of bees. 
can't afford them to score right now. I feel like whoever scores right now pretty much wins this game. Good clearance there from Alex. And good set from Mario by Noah. Oh, Noah. Excellent. That what you've been hiding. Another lovely ball from Noah to find Romario. What's he going to do with it? That was an excellent tackle. That was not a foul. Not a penalty. That was an excellent tackle of Romario. Throw it from the Bexley guys. Again, the borders in Toronto are a bit tired now. We're not pressing as much as we were at the start of the game. We tried to get a long ball, but the ball lands to Eunice. Eunice has got time and space to pick out a pass. What's he going to do with it? Yeah, I'm mean, set my guys to Audi. Bloody hell, mate. James has the ball in the field. What's he going to do with it? Just look out wide, mate. The pitch is so big. We can afford to just bring the ball out wide, which is pretty much how Bexley has been playing as well. Eunice has the ball. He has to get a ball to Abu. Well, he couldn't. And they clear the ball out. You get a throw in. Eunice takes it. Lovely throw from Eunice. And ball lands to Noah. Eunice gets a ball into the box. What's he going to do? Oh, Romario couldn't get to it. He had to keep a punch it out. And they get the ball out for a throw in. Good throw there from the ballers. Oh, that was a handball. That's a penalty. That was definitely a penalty. A referee should have called that. But now the counter attack is on. They're about to counter us. We haven't got enough players back. We look a bit outnumbered as well. They get across into the box. Luckily, Eunice was there to save the day. Let's look at that again. I'm sure that was a handball. So the ball lands in the box. Yep. Noah headed it to their hand. Referee. They get a free kick. Ball lands in front of our box. Oh my days. This is dangerous. They get a free kick. No, God. No, God, please, no. They get a free kick in a very dangerous position. This is looking very dangerous. I can't have a look right now. Oh my days. That was absolutely magnificent. I'm not gonna lie. That was a very good free kick. So 2-1 to Bexley. I mean, he's pretty much scored a winner for them. There's only two minutes left in this half. This is tight. How did we go from 1-0, being up 1-0, to being down 2-1? not good enough from the ballers. I mean, not all hope is lost, but as you know, they're going to start wasting time, which to be fair, I don't blame them. We'll probably do the same as well, if we were in their position. Ball goes out for a goal kick. Alex is driving the ball forward. He's trying to find a long pass, but the ball gets intercepted by one of their players in midfield. Doesn't matter because ball drops to Noah. Noah gives the ball to Romario. Romario's driving forward with it. He tries to find Shams on the wing, but he couldn't. And they intercept the ball. Now they're driving with it. The counter's on. We can't afford them to score this time. If they do, the game is pretty much over. I mean, there's a minute left. So we need to have the last attack if we have any chance of trying to score another goal. We can't afford to lose this game, ballers. Come on. Eunice picks up the ball. Oh, that was a dirty tackle on Eunice. That was dirty. Eunice is going to have to come off. And Daniel came on in his position. It's literally the final minutes of this game now. Ball lands to Alex. Has to find another long ball. Has to find Romario. He does. Romario tried to kick the ball back to Abu. He couldn't. And Noah's got the ball. Oh, lovely pass from Noah to find Daniel. Now that Daniel's got the ball. Edge of the box. Get across it, my guy. Another dirty tackle on Daniel. Come on. These Bexley guys. How are you leading? You're still putting in those dirty tackles. Make it make sense. So Daniel's going to have to come up here. Pretty much the final kick this game. Alex whips the ball into the box. Uh, nothing really happened and they cleared the ball out. That's pretty much it. That's the end of the game. 2-1 to Bexley. South Ballers. Our first loss in the past 10 games. You know what? I can't say I wasn't proud of the Ballers today. We had a great game. Man of the match goes to Dara. He had their defenders on ropes. He had a great game. Top goals. Still goes to Charlie. But Sham scored a goal. So he's climbing up that ladder, surely. Who was your man of the match? Comment down below.